Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be doing a review on the LEGO Slave 1 ship. Thanks, enjoy. Here it is guys, a legendary Slave 1 ship. Alright, the first feature we'll be checking out is the cockpit. Right, let's spin this around. Okay, this is my most favorite feature um, that's in this ship, and the reason why is because of this. The weight of the wings allows it to adjust to uh, the different movements. So if you tilt it up, um, the cockpit will move um, because of the wings. Yeah, that's really cool. Really like that feature. Right, let's put that back on. Okay, the second feature we'll be checking out is the uh, turrets. Alright, let's move this around like this. Okay. Um, okay, so during this time, um, the Lego company didn't really have flick fire stuff, and they didn't have it at all, actually. Um, so this is what they had for a lot of different uh, Star Wars sets. Let me show you this. They had these, uh, these little turrets right here. Not for every ship, but they just they just didn't have a lot of flick fire stuff, so um, they just had this kind of stuff instead. All right, let's move those back in. Okay, now the third feature we'll be checking out is the uh, kind of engineering, I guess you could say. Um, all right, as you can see, there's two missiles. The one's hiding back there. There's two missiles in here. Like I said, they don't have any flick fire stuff, or they didn't have any flick fire stuff at this time. So this is what they had instead. These kinds of things. They just, yeah, they just had things that kind of looked like, um, like missiles or whatever, but they didn't actually do anything cool or anything like that. All right, and here's the engine. Might just, oh, I'll just leave it in there. Um, yeah, that's that's what's supposed to power the ship. Yeah, during this time they didn't have a lot of detail. They didn't really add a lot of detail to their stuff. Um, as you can see, it's right there. So, uh, yeah, they didn't really add a lot of detail, so a lot of the things were just kind of made out of, like, three pieces. Or just, yeah, not a lot of uh, pieces. Um, okay, let's put those back. Close it up. All right, now the, the fourth feature we'll be checking out is the... Uh, uh, I won't worry about that. Is the... Um, let's see here. All right, yeah, a lot of these things just keep falling off, so I'm just going to take them off for now. All right, so these little guns right here. I really like these, and what, what what's really cool about them is that um, when you move them... Um, let me take this off. So this thing right here is kind of like a little stabilizer that allows them to kind of adjust perfectly into their different positions, which is really cool. I'm going to need to hurry up. My battery life on the camera is dying. All right, um... I want to make, make it look good. All right, and the uh, the last feature, uh, I mean the second to the last feature is the uh, the bombs right here. Well, I don't, I don't really have any bombs right now, but this is the uh, the bomb um, dropper. So if you move it up, okay, so you put them in by uh, moving this up and you know just putting the bombs in. But um, if you move it down, all the bombs. If you uh, move it down, all the bombs fall out of this area. All right. Okay, and the last feature, I want to save the best for last for this review, um, is the uh, the escape pod. I think this is really interesting. Um, so basically, this is very, very uh, unique, in my opinion, because we really don't have a lot of this kind of stuff. We don't have a lot of metal stuff in LEGO sets nowadays. But right here... There's a little magnet back there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a little magnet. And you can just put this here, and it just stays on. It won't fall. All right. That about sums up my review for this LEGO set. Um, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up.